Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions about what is the optimal split squat and lunge width? And that pertains to how far should I put my feet apart when I'm doing the actual activity? And to answer your question, there is no absolute split squat and lunge width. It's gonna depend on the individual's hips, how tight they are, and where their feet are positioned. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a stance with uh, a narrow stance and a, and a wider stance. So the wider stance is for somebody that can already perform the movement under control, and the more narrow stance is for somebody with tighter hips that can't quite open up their hips and get that control. So the pelvis is just gonna drop, drop straight down. So the narrow stance, and you can see from that position, I have my feet closer together and I'm able to drop my knees straight down that back knee. Now for the wider stance, this is for someone who already has the motor control to do so. So guys, remember that the split squat width and the lunge width needs to be prescriptive for the individual. If they have tighter hips, err on the side of caution and bring their stance in a little bit. Make sure their knees go forward, their back knee relaxes, and their pelvis goes straight down. For someone who already has the motor control, same thing. You just open it up a little bit more, back knee goes straight down, knee goes relatively forward, stays over the midfoot, and you get some single leg gains right there. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Comment below any tips uh, or questions that you have about weightlifting or physical therapy. Thank you.